is up guys back again today with another Pokemon X and Y OU Wi-Fi battle today I got another one against my good friend Heisenberg I'm pretty sure this is ice bots the ice butts of twitch he's quite a man now this team my team is my my son team obviously but that man's team it doesn't look very threatening but Jesus Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let me tell you, I lost a couple times to this team. I won't lie. I won't lie that this team is good. I uh, unfortunately did not. A lot of people are going to call me out. Why don't you upload Lothans? Why don't you? You really think people want to watch a YouTube channel where all uh, like where all the person uploads is losses? Sorry. Um, so I, I tend to not really save my losses unless they're really close. And this his team destroyed me quite a few times. Not going to lie at all. Here, I knew that he would probably go for the knockoff with this Mew. Um, I don't really remember, like right now, I don't really remember what his Pokemon did, but if he sets up with that thing, I know that it's over for me. That Zygarde, let me tell you, that thing is a threat. It is a monster, but I am, I have the sun up. I have my Mega Houndoom out. Things are going to be penetrated hard today. <laughs> my horns, they're stabbing people. Penetration, they're just... It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse. Just look how much damage, how much damage I do with that. Even a Fire Blast would would do about that amount of damage. Even with a resisted hit from Zygarde, it's just it's too strong. He's gonna go for the E Speed. Just trying to get some damage off before uh, he inevitably dies from this Dark Pulse here, and uh, it's gone. It's dead. Um, nothing to deal with. Now I've recorded like two other battles, like two different battles earlier today. But of course, Camtasia fucked both of them up. So I was like, this was a good battle. Let's go out of this. He goes out of the Starmie. He knows he's going to outspeed. And he knows that he has to go to the Hydro Pump to kill me with it, uh, with that thing. And unfortunately for me, he does get the KO with the Hydro Pump there. Um, that's... That's that's one, some of, like, the, one of the times I really wish I had Sucker Punch on my, um, on my Houndoom. But then again, it's like... I run a special attacking one. I don't want to have to run... Hardy or mild or something or hasty just so that I can uh, you know get get what I need to do with the sucker punch if I want my sucker punch to be worth anything so that's that's why I run protect over uh, sucker punch but I'm gonna go for the explosion on this Starmie unfortunately it lives with like three uh, that's like two or three HP there's there's no doubt about that so that's really unfortunate but I am gonna go out into my scarf Darmanitan here the sun is up and he's gonna switch out uh, not... god dang it Freaking hiccups, man. Unfortunately for him, he got predicted, and I'm going to hit him with that U-turn. And that U-turn, it did like a solid 30%, which is great, because Mew is very bulky. It's one of those Pokemon that's not fun to deal with. If you if you can avoid a Mew, avoid it, because they're not... They're just too bulky. Look at this, a leftovers Mew, named Ice Butts. Na appropriately named Ice Butts, because the thing is so dang annoying. Here, I'm going to go for the Leech Seed, just so that I can get some residual damage off on this Mew kind of whittle away him from his leftover. He's just going to go for the knockoff, that's fine. Uh, because I don't really run anything too big on this jump level anyway. Normally I run like a citrus berry or something on this thing. Um, because I, you just get so much health back from Leech Seed that it's ridiculous. Look how much I get back from this. Like half of what he did to me before. I'm going to encore him into the knockoff here. Um, because knockoff loses its effectiveness after the item is gone, or if your opponent isn't holding on him. Uh, that one was weird. He must have got a high roll there, except did a decent amount of damage. But normally, knockoff isn't going to be doing nearly as much damage um, if you don't if you don't have an item, or if you've already knocked off, or if your item's already been knocked off. I'm sorry, someone like slammed a door outside, so that's unfortunate that you guys had to hear that. But what are you going to do? Living in a dorm room. Here he's going to go out to the Staraptor. This thing is a threat. Straptor is not a Pokemon you want to mess with if you, you know, if you don't have to deal with it. But I predicted a switch and I predicted it quite well. Um, so now the Staraptor is asleep, which is great. He's uh, he's obviously scarfed because he just pretty much outsped me there, unless he went for Quick Attack or something. But it's great because it is going to allow me to get my Leech Seed up and start getting some of my health back and start getting some more residual damage on him. Now, when I, I normally don't like running Stolly Pokemon like this because they're just not interesting. But Jumpluff is one of those Pokemon that is just fun to use. It's so fast. If the sun is up, you have your Chlorophyll boost and you're even faster. And um, you have decent stats. You can do decent things. If there were, if there was um, a Flying Gym in X and Y, 
you would see a lot more jump luffs because a lot of people would run the acrobatics jump luff set. Whereas, uh, you know, we don't have flying gym right now, so we can't. But I'm going to go back out to my nine tails. I'm pretty sure that I can live a brave bird from that thing and then retaliate with a fire blast or a will o wisp or whatever I want to do. And he ends up going out to the star me just to death fodder, see what I want to do. And I end up going for the fire blast here and just try. I wanted to try and kill that Straptor if I could because it is a threat. Stra it's a choice scarf Straptor. Thing has crazy high attack and it's super fast. Not something I want to be dealing with. Here he's going to go out to the Charizard. Really, really hoping that it's not a Zardex because if it's a Zardex and it's sun boosted, I'm going to be having a bad time. I'm going to go out to my Swampert here predicting maybe an Earthquake or something if he is X. But unfortunately for him, he's Y. And that's great for me because uh, when the sun goes down, I have, another, I have an extra source of sun from that Charizard, which is great for me. He actually ends up going for the Ancient Power, which I've never seen on the Charizard before. A lot of people would probably rather run HP Rock or something like that. Um, just because you have more PP of it. Ancient Power, I believe, you can only have 8 of max. Um, but that's for a good reason. Um, Ancient Power can actually boost all of your stats by one point. Which is crazy. Uh, one point. One stage, I should say. That's crazy. Attack, special attack, defense, special defense, speed. Those can all be raised by one stage. And if that ever happens, whatever Pokemon it happens on, it's a huge threat. And not something you want to be dealing with. So he has this Ice Butts thing out on the field. Ice Butts has his butt out on the field, this Mew. And I'm getting sick and tired of this thing. I really am. So I'm going to go for the Roar here. I think I just put my rocks up, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he went for... I don't know. Did I get my rocks up? Yeah, nice and rocks. Got them up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's Volbeat, though. It's quite annoying. Volbeat is definitely not a Pokemon you want to mess around with either. You need to kill it as quickly as possible because it will either do that to you or it will start setting up tail glows all over your face and then baton pass or something. But that's fine. I don't mind being on coordinated roar because I can eventually get just Charizard to come out on top of these rocks, which is great. Now, the only downside to being locked into roar is that you have negative priority. So you're always going to go, you're always going to move last unless your opponent goes for like trick room or something. Um, I don't know. Actually, Roar and Whirlwind might have lower, lower priority than Trick Room. But I thought I think Trick Room has like negative seven priority. It's 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 ridiculous. Um, and the fastest uh, priority move is actually Faint. Um, faint. Well, and it's 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 confusing. Normally, Protect will have the highest amount of priority, unless your opponent goes for Faint. Whereas then. Um, I don't know if Faint bypasses the Protect or just goes before it. Couldn't tell you, because I've never used a Pokemon with Faint. So, I couldn't really tell you on that one. Sorry. 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 <laughs> uh, but he's going to go back onto the Charizard. Um, what he did here, the reason his Charizard lived, is he has an odd number of HP points. Well, um, so take a look at my Swampert. I have a total of 205. His Charizard had to have a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or a 9 in his HP to be able to do that. Because basically he lived with 1 HP. That's that's how it happened. If you have an odd amount of HP, you can come in on Stealth Rocks twice. Uh, if you have an even amount, you can only come in on Stealth Rocks twice and then you die. Whereas, like I said, an odd amount, you can come in twice and live which is cool. It's nice. It's a good fact to know for all of you people out there. Uh, but he's got this freaking Mew out, and he went. I think he went for Defog there. And the Charizard is going to come back out. <sighs> it's just annoying and frustrating to deal with. I don't want to deal with your crap anymore, Ice Butts. I'm sick and tired of your crap. But the Charizard is out. He's going to go for Flamethrower. I do resist it, though, so I'm not too afraid of it. Although the sun is boosting it, and that just did a lot more damage than I remember it doing. So that's a thing. But I have pretty much all my Pokemon left here. Uh, Swampert is about to die. It will probably die on this turn. I couldn't tell you if it does or not, because I don't really remember. Yep, I'm definitely dead this turn. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> Things I do... I'm going to go out and please don't man my nice, nice, and nice and sun boosted Darmanitan. This, this thing, that will be just dead. It's destroyed. Flare Blitz, bye bye. 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 Bye.
Easily gonna die. Oh, the crit too. I wonder how much damage that just did. Some boosted flare bullets from sheer force star minutes and with a crit. Things are everything's dying at that point. He's gonna go on to the star after. This thing is kind of a threat. Like I said before, I don't want to deal with it. I actually I think I I think I do not outspeed this thing. I think it outspeeds me. So I'm gonna go out to Tails 9 and try and please my climate. Got my tails nine and Mars. He's gonna go for that Brave Bird. I'm pretty sure I can live one here, but I did switch into the Brave Bird, so even if I live one, I didn't even live one, so I don't know what I'm talking about here. Definitely just died, but I took the Staraptor down with me as he is going to die to the recoil, and that leaves only... Uh, what does he have left? I think he has Mew and Charizard left. I think that's all he's got. Charizard is going... Did I get my rocks back up after that? Yes, I did. I did indeed, and that Charizard is now dead. Um, what else does he have left? It's got the Ice Butts, which is the Mew, which I expected, which is fine. Because I can kill this thing eventually with some Flare Blitzes. Nice and powerful. Look how much damage. Just take a peek here. That's crazy. That's like 50% to a heavily defensive Mew. And he's actually going to sit here and roost me. Roost stall me out, which is really, really frustrating and really annoying because he knows that he can live these flare blitzes um, and then recover. And the leftovers is actually going to be giving him more HP back than what I'm doing, I think. We'll see here. He's like halfway through the five. So we'll see. No, I think I'm doing more than he's healing, which is great. He is going to go for another roost. Um, and he sh I should be able to take him out next turn. Should be able to take him out. Yeah, I'm definitely doing enough. To where I'm doing a little bit of damage I think I think that time he healed exactly as much as I did let's see let's see nope he died nice and high damage roll for the win Darmanatan coming through and I lived live the recoil damage but like I said guys I did get destroyed by that team quite a few times I won't lie I won't I won't lie and say oh yeah played this guy one time and beat him with that team nope I got destroyed by that team quite a few times. <laughs> oh, I will not lie. I will not lie. But that was a good battle. It was very close. I think all I had left was Darmanitan, and all he had was Mew. So, um, if I would not have gotten a high damage roll there, I definitely would have lost. Because he would have just roosted again um, and gotten more health back. And I would have lost. And I would have died. Uh, that yawn, though. Fucking gulping came in here and yawned me. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I'm sick and tired of narrating today because it's like my third or fourth battle that I've narrated, like I said. Due to Camtasia, I swear I'm going to have to switch over to Fraps and Audacity. Or you know what I should do, because it records... No, actually it doesn't record all of the screen. Because hmm. what, ha what happens is it record, it'll record all of the in-game audio. And then it will, it will just go black for the video and then my actual narration is gone as well it'll record like a quarter of the video and then it'll just stop so i don't know what the deal is um and i can't upgrade to the next camtasia because if i do that then i can't have my mono mic come out in both of your speakers like it is um because if if i if i upgraded it you would only be able to hear it in one ear unless i duplicated the tracks and that's a lot more work than i want to do it's just me being lazy i guess but it's not something i want to do it's too much work I was going to rant about something. Uh, what, what can we rant about? I guess just... Oh, I don't know if I told you guys this or not. I can't remember. Um, but the people... I don't know if it's just like my, my roommate's friends. Or if it's just like people here in general. But people just like... Don't have any courtesy. At all, man. It's crazy. Like... They really don't. Um, the yesterday, no, Wednesday. Yeah, yesterday. Because today's Thursday. Yesterday, <laughs> as in Wednesday. Um, I have a class at 1 o'clock, so I sleep in until 12. Um, and then I get up and shower and then grab a bite to eat on my way to class. And then I go to class. So as I was getting up out of my bed and getting my things ready to go to the showers, one of my roommate's friends just opens up the door looks in the room and said oh he's not here closes the door and walks away and as he closed the door i literally said 
Are you fucking kidding me? Haven't you heard of knocking? Jesus Christ. Like, the door's closed. Like, if the door's open and you want to peek in and check and see if he's here, that's fine. I don't care about that. I'm not going to make a big deal about that because the door is open. But if the door is closed and you're going to turn the knob and open the door before you knock, there is something wrong with you. You don't, you don't do that. That's like... That's the equivalent of, like, me going upstairs in the in the dorm halls to the girls' room and just, like, walking in the bathrooms and opening up all the shower curtains to see if girls are showering. Pretty much. That's pretty much the equivalent of that. The, the how I feel about it, anyway. It's like... One... It's just a privacy issue. Like, what if, like if I was changing in here or something, like, it's, it's going to be embarrassing for me. Um, two, um, if I had someone in here, like a girl, that would be even more embarrassing for me. And two, it would just be rude. It would be embarrassing for me. It would be embarrassing for her. It would just, it would just be absolutely rude. I don't know. People are just fucking idiots. Like, did they not learn how to knock on a door when it's closed? Like... I always, always, like, at my, even at my own house, um, even if my bedroom door is closed or my my studio room is closed, I always knock on the door first just, just to make sure, just to be safe. Like, if someone's in there, like, changing or something, like, if my sister has friends over, like, it's just common courtesy. Like, I always knock on, even if the bathroom door is closed, even if I know no one is in there, I always knock first anyway. Like, it's just common courtesy. I don't know. The one time, the one, t <laughs> this is actually on my way back from Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions and Worlds. I was driving back and I stopped at a gas station uh, to go to the bathroom and get a drink. Um, and the bathrooms were like strange. They were like outside. I think my phone just buzzed. Um, they were like weird. They were like, they weren't outhouses, but they were like, the restrooms weren't a part of the gas station building. So I had to like go around back and go to the bathrooms. The door was like slightly open. And the light was on, so I was like, okay, no one's in there. And I didn't I didn't hear, like, anyone going to the bathroom in there. So I just opened up the door, <laughs> and uh, it's just, like, this uh, approximately 10-year-old kid just sitting there, like, taking a piss. And as soon as I opened up the door, he screamed like a little girl. I go, oh, my gosh, I am so sorry. And I closed the door, and just I just waited for him to finish. Um, but that I think that's the only time I've never not knocked on a door, especially a bathroom door. I, t I tend to always knock on bathroom doors, especially. Um... But these rooms, it's, it's like they're, like, this is like my house, like, right now. Like, I'm not living at home. This is my house. This is my room. This is where I live. This is where I sleep and eat. Um, and I would think that people would knock on the door before entering. I think that's just a common thing. So I always, I always have the door locked now. Um, even when I'm in here, I have the door locked now. Just because I'm sick and tired of his friends coming up and opening the door they'll they'll do it I, i've i've heard them do it i'll be sitting here playing you know games with vade or ellen or zol or whoever and they'll just open up the door and peek in and see if he's here i can hear the door turn it's even if i have music on really loud i can still hear the door not turn because the doors are really loud here so i don't know i don't think it's gonna happen again just because of how mad i got because i was like I had just, I had like, like not even a minute and a half before he opened up the door and, you know, peeked in to see if my roommate was here. I like, I was, I had gotten up and was getting ready. Like I was still like half asleep. So, um, I don't think that I was rude to him. I don't think, um, I should have been nicer about it because they do it all the time. Um, and if you're not going to be firm about it and stand up for yourself they're gonna keep doing it so um that doesn't mean that if you're if you're having an issue similar to this or you're i, I don't want people to take this out of context um i don't want to go into like bullying but if you're being like bullied at school um if you think you can stand up for yourself then do it but if you think it's an issue that you know or you even feel like you might not be able to stand up for yourself, um, get help. 
ask ask parent teacher. I don't know why. I don't. I don't want to. I feel like. I feel like such an adult. It's fucking weird. I don't know why. I don't want these to seem like. Just forget whatever I said. I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't need no. Oh, it's so strange. It's so strange. Anyways, I'm gonna go before I start sounding like. The fucking, yeah, I'm an old man, I'm an adult kind of person. I'm only 19 years old and I'm sitting here talking like this. You know what is wrong with me. Anyways, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go take a nap before my next class. Peace out. <laughs>